She was just 21 years old. Her whole life was ahead of her. And tonight, and only on Denver 7, days after she was murdered by a man she trusted, her friends are sharing her story. And Denver 7's Tom Mustin spoke to a close friend, still in shock. Not only did she lose her best friend, now the man who was a roommate is an accused killer. Caitlin Newhold still can't believe her best friend is gone. No one saw this coming at all. Everyone's in complete shock. Caitlin lived with 21-year-old Autumn Rivera for two years. She says pictures show how inseparable they were. She can talk to anyone and get to know anyone really well. Um, just sweet and caring. Autumn's boyfriend, 22-year-old Johnny Aiken, is now in jail in Wyoming after admitting to killing Autumn at their Thornton home and turning himself in to police. Aiken had briefly lived at Caitlin's home as well. So what went wrong? Caitlin says last Saturday the couple had gone to a club. Autumn got kicked out of the club that night and Johnny was upset at her. They were both intoxicated and they went home that night and they were fighting. Friends say inside their home at the Champions Park Apartments, things spiraled out of control. Johnny was cutting fruit when they were fighting and he had a knife. Her sister called me and said that um, Autumn had been stabbed by Johnny. Aiken's friends then called Caitlin. Johnny had messaged them saying that he had done something and that he was turning himself into the police. Um, he went out to Wyoming to go see his parents before he turned himself in. Aiken walked into the Powell, Wyoming Police Department and confessed. Police found a female body in the car, although at this point they will not confirm it belongs to Autumn. It's just hard to believe that he would ever do something like that, especially to someone that he cared about so much. Thornton police would not comment on the specifics of the case. Meanwhile, Caitlin says she forgives Aiken even as she struggles to come to terms with his horrific crime. I know in jail and he's just going to have a really hard time dealing with what he's done. Tom Mustin, Denver 7.